Hello, berries. Today we'll be talking about my old killer main, a killer that I have a very special place in my heart, and that's the Legion. Now, when Legion first came out, it's, it was when I first started playing killer, and he was the killer that brought me to rank 1. Learning this killer helped me a lot with learning the fundamentals of the game, seeing as how Legion doesn't have any 1v1 capabilities. And that is one of the core problems of this killer, but we'll get to that in a little bit. The reason I really want Legion to be buffed and, addre and addressed is because with nowadays maps, he falls short. Maps like Fractured Cowshed, maps like Gideon Meat Plant, maps like uh, Rotten Fields, Sanctum of Wrath are too much for Legion to handle. He is not really fast. His Feral Frenzy only gets him to 125% speed. It's like a clown with a yellow bottle. And the only way you actually can get any mileage out of his Feral Frenzy on these big maps is if you have the duration add-ons that Legion can run for, uh, for longer. Now, when Legion first came out, he was abysmally broken, way too powerful, and there was literally no counterplay to him. So, Behavior nerfed this killer to the ground to the extent that no survivor complains about him, but now you have another killer that's sitting on the bench which hardly any people touch. And it's such a shame because this killer is proving to be so simple and so user-friendly that I see many uh, beginner players playing him. A lot of my viewers are, are, uh, that are starting to play killer are pl choosing to pick Legion and they actually enjoy this very simple killer that can cause quite a lot of damage map-wide. Now, I think that Legion needs a few tweaks. I think uh, Legion ne needs to be addressed and one of the core problems with this killer is that his power does not reward him in the 1v1. Sure, you have injured survivors now to contend with, but if you think about it, the insta-down killers, whether if it's Letterface, Oni, or Myers, by insta-downing healthy survivors, they save the time because they prevent that uh, killer. They prevent, sorry, they prevent that survivor from having dead heart. They prevent that survivor from having resilience. So the problem is, is that Legion's one v four ability, his feral frenzy, doesn't really help him in the one v one. Sure, uh, I see a lot of people saying, "Yeah, but Barry, now you're chasing an injured survivor." But there's so many perks that injured survivors can use to uh, to make sure that they are not, you know, that they, they are stronger or at the very least unfazed by being injured. There's way too many of those perks. There's resilience, which allows you to vault windows, do gens, and every action faster. There's dead heart that gives you another health state, a, a second chance, so to speak. And I have seen insane players that are able to hold their dead heart for a minute. And there's perks like Iron Will that render you completely silent. There's perks like uh, uh, Lucky Break by Yui, which make your blood marks and scratch marks disappear. So for a killer like Legion that cannot see scratch marks in Feral Frenzy, and then when you come back from Feral Frenzy, you still can't see anything. That is very disorienting. So, I think that Legion needs to have a little bit of an edge in his 1v1. And to, at the same time, nerf his 1v4. I know what you might, guys might be thinking, but think straight here about this. Let's say you're playing us as a survivor and you're versing a legion. What viable counterplay do you have to prevent being stabbed in Feral Frenzy? Because nothing in this game should ever be a given, right? You drop a pallet, Le legion respects the pallet and vaults it. You vault a window, legion vaults right back after you. You jump into a locker, that's perfectly fine. Legion is one of the only killers that can uh, do actions during his Feral Frenzy, like opening lockers, closing hatch, or kicking a gen, so you're not safe in any situation, Legion is always gonna nail a hit on you in Feral Frenzy. It is all but impossible to uh, stop a Legion that is halfway capable from stabbing you. And nothing should ever be a given. No power in this game is ever a given. Heck, even Spirit hitting you in her phase walk requires a bit more awareness of the survivor's presence. <coughs> it requires you to listen, it requires you to pinpoint where they are, 
With Legion, you see the target in front of you, nothing stops you, and you get a free hit. Feral Frenzy should not be this easy. And, like, sure, you gotta know how to be resor resourceful with your Feral Frenzy. Like, how to cancel it, when to cancel it. Um, like, should I go with Feral Frenzy or should I go with a basic attack? But... You should not only look at uh, Feral Frenzy in a resourceful fashion. I want this to be a skill that you use in chase, and you need to calculate if this is the right time to use it. Uh, for example, like if, if, if Feral Frenzy had a token system, where you get three tokens the second you start your Feral Frenzy, which indicate uh, how many times you can perform a vault. Let's say you start your Feral Frenzy, you have three tokens, and... For each time you vault a pallet or a window, a token get, uh, gets consumed. If all tokens get consumed, your Feral Frenzy immediately ends. This will actually give uh, survivors some sort of counterplay to Legion. Because if you, for example, I don't know, let's say uh, you're in a very crucial part of the game, okay? So you dropped a very strong pallet and you continued running. Legion has to vault this pallet. You, you vaulted the window, now he vaulted the window. And maybe you were able to make another amazing... Uh, play and I don't know vault as uh, a Z wall window and Legion had to vault after you and there you go He just lost his power. He got a stun and you make distance Use the Legion did not calculate your distance correctly. You did not calculate uh, the area around you and Now you got punished because the survivor has made distance by vaulting a lot Because nowadays you can vault as much as you want and when you vault I don't know if any if you guys know this, but when Legion is vaulting, his Feral Frenzy doesn't get de depleted. His Feral Frenzy stops where it is. His timer is not getting wasted as he's performing the vaulting action. That gives him even more f uh, flexibility. Even more... Uh, f it, it, it makes the Feral Frenzy more forgiving, and I don't get that. So I think that there should be like a token system to how many times you can perform vaults. It'll require survivors to uh, maybe drop pallets prematurely, maybe uh, to uh, count the amount of vaults you did. There's going to be some sort of hindrance there for you as the Legion. And that's good, because you might want, not want to take a vault and you might want to run around the jungle gym to meet the survivor there. And you might lose a survivor because you will not be able to see their scratch marks. There's going to be some sort of counterplay, some sort of gaming... Uh, ability while facing a legion that is in Feral Frenzy. But at the same time, Feral Frenzy should also reward the killer. For example, that the amount of people you stabbed rewards you with a smaller stun in Feral Frenzy. Like, if you stab no people, you get a 4 second stun. And for each person you stab, your Feral Frenzy stun decreases by half a second. So, like... If you stab, uh, I don't know, a certain amount of people, now, uh, like, you, let's say you stab three people. For each person you stab, your Feral Frenzy stun gets reduced by half a second. So, now your Feral Frenzy uh, stun is two and a half seconds rather than four seconds. That's already much better. And allows you to maybe zone out a survivor and you'll recover fast enough to be able to down him. Like, if you think about it, every killer power rewards the killer with downing a survivor. Whether if it's Freddy or Clown that can slow down the survivor to nail that final blow. Whether if it's Doctor that slows down, uh, with, which uh, prevents survivors from interacting with the environment. Like vaulting a pallet or vaulting a window. Whether if it's Nurse that completely breaks the rules of looping. Or Wraith that can utilize uh, the uncloak ability to uh, perform a very long lunge that can hit survivors. Every killer has some sort of 1v1 ability, and Legion is the only one that ha doesn't have anything. He doesn't have a bigger lunge, he's not significantly faster in his 1v1, he doesn't recover from pallets, uh, pallet stuns faster, or, and he doesn't break pallets fast enough. That's why it's so painful, because it's really demoralizing for me as a very, very adept Legion player to leave my Feral Frenzy, because I cannot do anything on maps like Fractured Cowshed. Or on maps like Gideon Meat Plant, that every pallet there is, I cannot overcome it. So, either uh, they should decrease the Feral Frenzy st uh, stun for each person you stab, or make it so that for each person you stab, you get a, a bigger lunge for Legion, for example, yeah? Like Coup de Grasse, you know? 
like for each person you stab your next basic attack is in uh, the lunge is increased by 20 percent for each person you stab so let's say you stab three people you uh, and you leave your feral frenzy the third uh, your next basic attack the lunge is increased by 60 percent and for legion who's a short killer and his footsteps are quiet around loops when you moonwalk and whatnot those 60 percent can actually help you finish the chase that is really significant some survivors won't measure it correctly and it will require, require of the survivors to be more aware of how many uh, of their friends get stabbed in Feral Frenzy. Then they might be able to, to understand how long Legion's lunge is going to be. Um, another idea is to increase Legion's speed. If you read the Legion's description and... <clears throat> Actually, uh, w like when you pick the character, it says a band of merciless killers able to use their agility and uh, -da 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 to uh, to uh, complete uh, rush survivors very quickly. But when you go back to your 1v1, you don't feel that. You're just a short M1 killer. I want to feel like Legion is this flexible, agile killer even in his 1v1. Maybe an increased uh, speed in uh, reward for each person you stab in Feral Frenzy. All right, let's say the first person you stab in Feral Frenzy, you don't get any bo boost of speed. The second person you stab, you get 4% speed when you leave Feral Frenzy. And if you stab another person, that's another 4% speed. So now when you leave Feral Frenzy, you got 8% speed, right? In a loop, in a jungle gym, and that's great. And you lose this speed once you down a survivor or basic attack a survivor okay more correctly so imagine this scenario you stab one survivor you stab his friend you stab another uh, survivor now you're eight percent faster when you leave your feral frenzy which sums up to being 123 percent now all of your moonwalking and mind gaming is going to be very difficult for these survivors and some of uh, even the stronger palace can be over uh, overcome and that is great again it'll require the survivors to pay attention to your feral frenzy to estimate the distance should i drop the pallet now or should i drop the pallet later will i be able to complete another loop or the legion actually stab a lot of people in this uh, feral frenzy and i won't make it again either way you will lose this uh, b uh, boost of speed after you basic attack someone so it's better to go for an injured survivor and it'll require you as the legion to uh, completely use your resources better now like all of these ideas are mega simple but like as you can see i'm not changing any any animations here this is not like crazy over the top like they've done with doctor or freddy that they've completely given them a complete different animation and an overhaul about how they work you can keep like basic legion animations but just tweak the numbers give him some sort of reward for using his feral frenzy and make feral frenzy a bit more difficult to use just a tad bit maybe then uh newer players that are feeling compelled to play legion will actually will actually learn uh, to you utilize uh, you know moonwalking and all of that a bit better due to the speed increase or the lunge increase and if you have a, a lower uh, f a fatigue from leaving Feral Frenzy, you might be able to actually zone survivors out. Yeah, you place yourself in such a position that you know, oh, the survivor is not going to leave this corner of the map in the next 2.5 uh, seconds, so I can, like, corral him into this uh, place that is not really safe, right? And you have your extra speed, so you might be able to da also down the survivor there. I'm so ambitious for this idea. I think that this idea is pretty good, if I do say so myself. If you, if any of you have any better ideas, please, I would be glad to hear about it. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much for listening, and uh, I'll see you next time.